What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I got another party case sent to me. It got modified with a 60 on one board in it and it actually saves high scores. To an extent. Let's take a look. <laughs> Alright guys, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, at Vic underscore VP, what are you waiting for? Why are you not following? I even made the link tree down below to make your life easy. Be sure to follow me on all the socials. I kind of feel weird and awkward. I feel like I'm tucked away into a corner and I'm going to bring you back to show you why. Uh, from the last video you saw, which was the Big Lebowski video, yes, because it, it just went out. Again, the way I'm sending out the videos and all that, I have a structure basically I'm aiming for once a week, especially with the project I have behind you. Um, so compared to like when I shot the Big Lebowski video to now to today, it's been busy in the shop and I'll show you exactly why I kind of feel like I'm tucked away. So let me show you. Yes, hi. Hi, I'm over here. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> As you can see, the garage is packed. Uh, as I said in the video before, I do have three V-pins lined up. Um, very excited. It's been a journey with these V-pins. Uh, I'm going to break down the V-pin videos and all that. But as you can see, I do have one of the three. This one right now is about 90% complete. I shouldn't say 90. Maybe bring it down to like 80. Uh, waiting on artwork. I have to make the artwork for that. But the big deal with these three V-pins that I've never done before is that we are doing the addressable LEDs. So I do have the matrix and the side rails and also speaker addressables going all out. So this is why I've been pretty busy. This is how I've said in the last video, you know, the video structure, the videos that just went out from like the touch edition one to the mega touch. I basically shot those videos within a week, but then I broke them down to, you know, go public once a week so again keep in mind the video that you're seeing today we're going to talk about the pac-man video i'm hoping that the next video it really should be the next video we'll be discussing that one of three v pins but as you can see i'm full <laughs> but we're going to talk about v pins on this we're going to be discussing the pac-man video let me jump over all the wood and everything and bring you back to the main reason of this video Whew. Luckily with the power of video editing, you don't have to watch me jump over boxes for 10 minutes and then setting you up. So we are back to normal. But again, on this one today, we're going to be focusing on the RK1UP Pac-Man Partycade. Yes, converted again into a 60 in one board. I call it my signature volume switch up above. And also the big kind of deal with this video and what this specific unit has it actually does have the high score save feature, which in my first video, if you've seen it, man, people message me all day. Vic, mine does say the high scores. It does this. Uh, be sure you dip switch. And I'm like, I know I can read the manual, but this one definitely something was different about this board specifically. But again, we're going to go through the whole thing. Just like I do in my, all my videos, I'll go through the background. We'll talk about how the customer found me. We'll talk about this specific unit. Kind of like a red flag, kind of like, you know, when people reach out to me and inquire, I have to think of every little thing. So I have not a lot to talk about, but you know me, I like to talk. Now this obviously is not my first rodeo with a party cade. I've done several of these. I'm really kind of comparing this video to the one when I first posted. And even in that first video, I do mention, I do get the kit from DIY Retro. Same as that kit came in. Uh, I have this kind of thing where, uh, especially when I did this, uh, as I was converting it, I was like, oh wow, there's a couple of things that are different compared to when I first modified the party cade and I first made that video. In my mind, I'm like, okay, you know, maybe somebody from DIY Retro watched my video and they kind of worked with it and adjusted some things. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know if that's facts, but that's just what I like to believe. And I'm like, okay, cool. Somebody watched my video and they made it better. Uh, again, I do remember like one big thing with that first video is that something with the ground. The button grounds, I remember I was discussing something about the button grounds weren't long enough. This new wire harness actually had two more button grounds. So I'm like, okay, that wasn't like that before. Uh, again, the volume rocker switch, I dub it as my signature. Uh, I don't really see many people doing that. I think it's definitely a must, especially with these 60 and ones and this new gen, the volume up and down does not work. You do need an external source or 
you could just leave it stock, but you can't modify the sound. You can't raise it, you can't lower it. So I like to always say it's my little signature volume rocker on this. Um, but again, it's not my first rodeo with these party caves. You're right now watching this like, Vic, I saw your first video. You mentioned DIY Retro. You mentioned that you watched a tutorial from DIY Retro on how to do it. Why is somebody still commissioning you to do this? Like, why did somebody send it out? I don't ask these questions. I'm down to help. As you can see, I'm very transparent. Uh, the best comment I did get, not really pertaining to this exact thing, but somebody said, hey Vic, you know what, man? I'd rather have a pro do it than me risking and breaking it and damaging it. So that's kind of cool for that. Let's talk about how this customer reached out to me. He did hit me up off Facebook Marketplace first. He saw one of my arcade ads, hit me up, and then he told me about his RK1 at Partycade. It then moved into Instagram. Instagram to me is just so much easier. It's more fluid, much quicker. You could send me videos. I could send you videos and pictures and voice memos. Instagram is just better to me, especially for communication. I have an Android phone. If you have an iPhone, now I'm a green blob and everybody complains and sending me a video, it's... Uh, Instagram is the best way to go. So he hit me up on Instagram. He told me about this Pac-Man party kit that he bought on eBay. So people tell me this story. It's great. I, I'm, I'm all ears. But as you tell me the story, I kind of make mental notes. So the first thing he told me, he goes, hey, Vic, man, I got this Pac-Man party kit on eBay for a hundred bucks, but it doesn't work. I said, okay, that's cool. Like, you know, I don't know how much, I don't know if a hundred bucks is a good deal. I don't know. He did like the party cave. He likes the whole size of it. He likes the artwork on it. That's the big thing. Cause you know, me, I could say, Hey, I could build you a 32 inch vertical if you want, but he was set on this and he already bought it on eBay for hundred bucks. So again, the big red flag for me is that he did say it was broken. Um, he did have it in his hand. He's already got it. Uh, and I said, I was like, does it power on? He goes, no Vic, it doesn't power on. There's no sign of life. So basically what I'm trying to get at with this little story is that, these are always a gamble for me. Like in my situation, this is a gamble. And the big thing I tell customers, I say, I'm not responsible if this hits the fan. What do I mean by that? Usually like the first party K, that customer dropped off the party K to me. He was here. I plugged it in. I turned it on. I saw the screen was good. It wasn't cracked. So once I see that, I'm like, okay, I could proceed. This right now is a huge gamble. You broke a, you bought a broken party cake. You don't even know, you don't know its state. The, is the screen fried? Is the screen cracked? Does the screen power on? Yes, all the internals get gutted out, but the big key thing of this mod is the screen. If this screen doesn't work, you wasted a hundred bucks. And you know, buying now a separate screen, I don't know how much that is. I don't look into RK1 up. I don't know if a hundred bucks is a great deal, but in my mind, I have to save myself before I, you know, shoot myself in the foot, told the customer, I said, listen, you don't even know if this thing powers on. So I have to buy the parts. I'm buying the parts. If this thing doesn't work, you still have to pay me. That's tough. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know return policies on DIY retro or anybody, but in my mind, I bought the parts. You, you're going to have to cover the parts on that. So the customer basically kept saying to me, he goes, Dick man, the eBay ad, it said that it was only used two times. It was used two times. And now it doesn't work. So even that is still a red flag. When somebody says that it's RK one ups quality control is it's got its moments, but I'm pretty sure you could play more than two times. So there's just a lot, you know, when I get info, I keep everything in mind. His also big thing was like, he's like, look, man, the deck, like the screen protector is still on this and I leave it there. I'm not taking this off. The customer gave it to me like this. I will let him pull the protector off. So, in his mind, he's like, you know, it's got to be new. It's got to be good. There shouldn't be anything wrong with it. It's still got the protector on it. And it's only used two times, but it's dead. I'm like, that's my, my argument. I'm like, who uses it two times and it's dead? Uh, I asked him, be sure to send me the actual power supply. You send me everything you got, but just keep in mind, I'm going to open this up. It's a gamble. If this does not work, it's not my problem. So that's what I'm trying to get at with this as far as red flags. It's always tough. I always like the challenge. I always love doing these things, but there's always a backstory. And this one, luckily, we did get lucky. The screen, as you can see, does work. But for me personally, I have to, you know, I have to say myself and let you know, hey, listen, you don't even know if the screen works. So you can't blame me if it doesn't. So again, customer, awesome guy, going back and forth. I was letting him know, hey, listen, the 60 and one, remember, it doesn't save high scores. 
So he goes, hey, what about the Pandora box? I have never experienced the Pandora box, so I couldn't comment on that. I don't know. He goes, you know what, Vic, just stick with the 16 one board. Let's see it. I was very excited that this one, like I said, when I got it in, it looked the same. It looks like your regular 60 on one board. And I'm also going to make a comment quickly. If I have it here, uh, I'll, I'll come back to it. Basically, uh, the big thing with these, these mods is that the screen, when you first power on everything with the 60 on one board, the screen needs to be, what's the wording I want to do? Calibrated. The screen has to be calibrated. So you have to go into the test menu for that. And when I went into the test menu and I calibrated the screen, I went to the next button. I pressed next. And there was a screen there that I've never seen before. And that screen said, press button three to white high scores. I've never seen that screen before. So I said to myself, this one might actually save high scores. And sure enough, this does. The only kind of downside to it though, is it doesn't save the initials. So you could power this down. The high score will save at the top. Galaga, for example, my high score, which isn't that great. I'm a Galaga player, but in this, screen in this game it's not that high if i power down power back on my high score is saved but my initials are gone so for example player one it should have said vic it says lee but it has my score on it so i message the customer goes vic that's awesome i don't care about the names as long as i have that high score it was great i wasn't expecting that i did tell him listen in my experience it doesn't save high scores it'll save high score if you do not power down but this one actually does save high scores. So now, you know, people message me, oh, it does work. My high scores do save. Maybe something got upgraded. I know for a fact the ones I've done before, it did not save high scores. This one now does. I'm gonna take a look at the board to see if there's anything specifically different on the board, but this one does save high scores. So I also forgot to mention about the actual 60 and one board. The customer reached out to me, he goes, hey, Vic, man, to save a couple of bucks, can I actually send you a 60 in one board? Cause I have one. He goes, don't ask me how I have one, but I have a 60 in one board. Can you know, can you lower the price a little bit? So I said, send it over to me. I'm going to try if I can, a 60 in one board is 30 bucks. Um, and as you can see, I obviously did not use his, uh, his is definitely dated. It's got eight dip switches on it. Whereas the newer ones only have four. Um, this may have been a better board. I don't know, but this did not fit inside of the base of the arcade one up. So I couldn't use this. You could even see here. It's got the chips on it. Um, maybe this is better with the high score saves. I don't know, but this definitely is bigger than the 60 and one supply by DIY retro. So unfortunately, sorry, buddy, this is going right back to you. Can't do anything with this one. If it fit, I would have used it, but it did not fit. So take with that what you will. So again, going back to DIY Retro, what I noticed as I was doing my thing, I was like, oh wow, I didn't discover the high score thing yet. The big thing I noticed is that they must have added a couple more ground connections because I remembered I didn't have a wire long enough and this actually did have an extra two or three grounds for the button. So. Very awesome, like I said, I'm a firm believer that somebody from DIY Retro saw my video and they upgraded it. But all in all, awesome stuff, customer does love it. I do have the LEDs up above, I also have the LED underglow beneath, and again, we do have the hidden volume switch right above. Awesome. Again, very happy with this one. Just give you my little spiel of, you know, the risk of a broken screen. But RK one ups are RK one ups. They do work. They do their thing. They do play. So, and as you can see from there, I hope you can see it. Twenty five thousand. That's not a great high score. That's like stage three. But it did actually save the high score. If I power down, it does save it. So again, going back to my first video, I got people ah. You know, you don't know what you're doing. Mine saves high scores. Yours, you, you didn't do the right dip switch. I, I read manuals. <laughs> I've been doing this for years. But I'm just happy to know that, yes, this is it. My only struggle now is that, am I going to get the same board on the next order? So just keep that in mind. But all in all, awesome mod. I like doing these things. Also, quick note going back. I opened up this monitor. Uh, when he got off of eBay and it looked like somebody tried to modify this. 
it I this was off the actual monitor this wasn't connected the monitor all the wires and stuff you know you got like the 30 pin wasn't connected to this board you could even see here that there is a red marker as if somebody said hey this side was where the power is it looks like somebody tried to modify this and failed in the process and like they say let a pro do it <laughs> But all in all, it's great, it works, and again, like I said in my first video, that on and off switch, shout out to B Kong, watching his video tutorial on it, it's still a thing of beauty, that on and off switch is everything. It's great, it's awesome, customer is ready for it, this will be going out, it's, it's awesome. One simple switch, you can't complain, and again, shout out to DIY Retro, I am, from my, this is my personal opinion, they saw my video and they said, hey, we got to do a couple of things because Vic mentioned a couple of things, especially pertaining to the ground. The volume switch, you can't do anything. They can't do anything. You know, your stock stuff, you have to get a third party controller board involved. And I said that in my first video. And all in all, it's solid. It works. Okay. Just to show up real quick, the LED mod again, you do need to know soldering for it. Uh, LED strip, you got it up above and down below. Customer is going to hang this on the wall. It does have the wall hanger on it. Uh, you always got the LED controller. I have the sensor right on the bottom left. So if you wanted to, I have it always set to fade. You could always leave it either to red. If I pull the tab, that'd be great. You could do red, you could do green, you could do blue. I always like to leave them on fade. Awesome, awesome stuff. So again, as you can see, we're on, volume switch is on. I always take that main menu music off, it's kind of nauseating. But you got your dedicated four-way, and again, one player, two player. So if I press two player, there you go, two players active. And again, volume switch up above. Other thing that people don't really realize is that in these 60 and one boards, you do go into the dip switch, you activate this kind of test mode or settings mode, and each game has its own settings. The one thing that annoys the hell out of me is that like the stock settings on these are just annoying because I always have to go in, uh, for example, Pac-Man. Pac-Man always starts with five lives. I don't know why, but you have to change the dip switch setting in it to do three lives. That's how I grew up with Pac-Man playing. Uh, same thing with Galaga, you get the free life after like 18K or something like that. Dig Dug, same thing. It's about like you know how many lives you get and such. But all in all, solid stuff. My only one complaint with these 61 boards is, as you can see, I started a game. Not only did I start a game, but I started a two-player game. I have to now wait for all two players to die to go and pick another game. I can't hold down button one. I can't hold down start. You have to now wait. This also brings me back to the initials. Um, if you do get the high score in this, by the time you enter your name, it brings you back to the main menu. You, it doesn't even show the attract mode on it. I believe there is a way to change the attract mode on it, uh, but you don't even see the initials essentially. Um, also kind of cool note, the video preview actually shows, I'm trying to die. It actually shows your high score in the video preview. So that was, that was a pretty cool thing to know. So as you can see, the game is officially over. I do love the attract mode on this. If you leave the system alone, it's just gonna cycle through the games, which is great. Uh, other than that, you got your basic 60 and one, and it is ready to go out. Awesome stuff. There you guys have it. Vic VP, Game Case RK. Stay tuned, the V pins are up next. Cool, oh, it's dark. <laughs>